Hello YouTube, I would like to welcome you to my first ever Let's Play. Um, <clears throat> I know a lot of people have done Let's Plays before, but this is going to be my first. Um, so basically I wanted to show everyone how to make a very special um, kind of structure, which can be very challenging to build at times, but in the end, believe me, it is far worth it. So. Um, as you all know, I uploaded a video called the Mega Minecraft Realm Announcement, which is showing off the uh, the Nautilus research station that I had built with all my friends. But unfortunately, oh look, there's a creeper. Hi, creeper. Um, unfortunately, all the work we spent building that thing was gone, was completely erased because I stupidly changed the world for the realm and we lost all the work that we did and even I didn't even save up the backups or anything like that so like basically all the work was gone and basically it went from being a huge bustling underwater f research facility to square one which is just one dome and I was like holy frick but I told my uh my good brother fuzzy that I would um save the day and I'm going to do something a little bit uh, different. So basically, I'm going to, instead of wasting everyone's time to have to rebuild everything from scratch, I'm going to go into creative mode and build it by hand. And this is a good way for everyone to see how to build your own underwater research dome. You know, for everyone who ever wants to make one. Uh, it is very expensive. It does take a long time to make, as you can see. It requires a lot of resources. But, with the right amount of patience, you can have an underwater base just like this. In any Minecraft world that you make, which would be extremely beautiful. Oops. No! Sorry, I forgot to uh, block up the water. And look who's on the top! It is Friedrich von Ironshell. We can't, we can't really see his name tag right now, but that is his name. His name is Friedrich. He is our pet turtle. Because turtles are cute. Yes, turtles are very cute. Um, so it does take quite a bit of time to build one of these things, but in the end it's more worth it, you think. Alright. So, initially you need to have a good branch for building... Um, let's clear out some of this debris here. So much secrets. So we just kill Sorry, kelp. Uh, I can move plant you later on, but for now, I need you to scooch. Because this is very serious business. I'll just show you how to make it. It's quite simple. Uh, it's very, very dangerous, though, as you can see, because obviously you have to be underwater a lot to build this thing. So it's best to build this if you have um, sea turtles. You, you uh, breed them and then you get the little scoots, which are the things that sea turtles drop when they're babies. And then build the uh, this thing, which is called the turtle shell. Basically, a turtle shell gives you 10 seconds of water breathing. Which can be extremely helpful, especially if you're underwater for long periods of time and you need a little bit of extra breath. So yeah. I'm going to do all me and all my friends a favor and anyone who else wants to join, because believe me, this realm is open to anyone. So if you're watching this and you're like, oh man, that, that would be really cool to live underwater. I mean, look at this place. Imagine living in an underwater environment, because most people just build a house or a mansion, right? It's like the typical thing that people make, but I mean, an underwater research facility? I mean, I'm a merfolk, so I already live in the ocean, so it's kind of natural for me to want to live under the ocean, but dude, this is just freaking gorgeous. I love this place. I, the ocean is literally one of my favorite biomes. For good reason. Let's turn up my volume so I can hear some whales and stuff like that. <gasps> Hi, fishy! What's up, fish? What's up, Mr. Fishy? Alright, let's see. You want to get a good like base 
for, you know, like a good uh, chunk for building, of course. So I have a good, like, let's see, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so let's make this nine by nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oof, this is only seven. Okay, that's an issue. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. So this will be nine by nine by nine. Well, just nine by nine, so to speak. Okay. Okay, so I just need one more time uh, doing that. Just like that, and then we do this. Excellent. So this is our first base. You just fill the bottom with whatever kind of stone type you want. In this case, we want sandstone because it looks a little bit more, uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know how to put it. But yeah, no, it's just a good, you know, flat base. You know, that has a nice texture when you walk on it. A, a nice sound texture. It's kind of like the generic, um... I mean, believe me. This, as much as you think this takes a long time to do, I mean, I'm doing this in creative mode, which, if I was doing this in survival mode, this would take me hours just to build one dome. And this is taking me minutes. So, thank you, creative mode. This is the only time that I would like using creative mode is when a lot of work that we spent in survival was completely lost, like it was for us. And I basically use cheats in a realm to rebuild all the lost work that we made so that we could start over again because, you know, it really sucked. Plus, a friend of mine had already beaten the game, so it was kind of boring. Uh, so, here's the next part. After you build the base, this is when you start. You can put as many uh, sandstone blocks for the size as you want, but this way you can uh, build up the size. And I'm just waiting to hear a whale, because I love the whale sound so much. Uh oh. Ta da! <laughs> dolphin! Hi, Dolphin! <gasps> Hi, buddy! What's that? So for anyone who wants to live in this realm with us and build, uh, for me to help you build a dome so you can live with us, so like each person would have like a bedroom that they would live in, that you could, uh, you know, um, basically decorate it however you want. So it's like really personalized to you. So basically each person would get their own living quarters.
Fish, please do me a favor and don't get stuck inside the dome when I uh, flush it out of water, because then you'd drown and die. <laughs> I mean, you would suffocate. Da, 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 da. So yeah, basically it's just, you know, building up like this. So make sure all the corners look even. Okay, fish, please, please do not come down here. I need you to go up. Please go up. <laughs> oh shoot, this is going to be really bad. Uh, same goes for you too, dolphin. Please don't get stuck in here. Fish, go up, please. Thank you. Bye, fish. Oops. No, fish. Oh, they all have. They all have. Uh... <laughs> I all gave them the potion. Fish, please. No, no. Oh, fish, come on. Please. I can't believe I'm having to contend with fish. Okay. That's it. Come on. Swim out. I need you guys to... Nope. Oh, no. Please, please, please. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, fish. You were so silly. You are very silly, Mr. Fishies. Mr. and Mrs. Fishies. Can you swim out, please? Please, go. Out the thingy. Go fish. Go on. Okay, well. I'm not building an aquarium, I'm building a uh, underwater s living quarters for people, so... I don't want to hurt my relatives and make them all suffocate, so I'm not gonna... Are they out? Yes, they are out! Okay, quickly, let's close this up. Whew. Okay, folks, uh, there we go. There is my first dome. Built in about, you know... Gosh knows how many minutes. I don't even know. But yeah. Hi, fishies. But yeah, see? One dome connected by a little uh, pathway makes goes into another dome. It's not too bad looking. It's pretty even. Nine by nine. It's pretty nice size. It's almost as big as this one, I think. So the next part, obviously, is, you know... Obviously, the, th the issue with these domes is that you have to, again, take out all the water from inside of them, which... Let me tell you, it's a huge pain to do. But if you're lucky enough, if you can find an ocean monument, you get a sponge. And that's when you sponge the baby completely dry. So let me just... Come down here. Obviously, I'm just doing this for recording purposes, but, you know. There we go. Look at that. So thankfully we have this all set up now, so we can just place some torches. Or if you're really fancy, you can use lanterns and whatnot, but, uh, yeah. Ta-da! 
So the first dome is complete, which is what I was hoping for. Let's see, how am I gonna do this? Oh yeah. Oh! Okay, well this is an issue. You guys are not welcome in here, you know. Just saying. Okay. Yes, this is a very cute turtle. Friedrich von Ironshell. <laughs> Named him myself. Uh, let's see. It's okay, so I need a door. That is not what I wanted to happen. Yeah. I mean, eventually I would like to build a... Oh. I would like to build a, uh, a tunnel that goes all the way to another island so basically can walk underwater, not even having to use a boat. Just walk underwater through a giant tunnel just to get to another piece of land. That would be so epic, dude. Oh. Anyone who wants to join this realm, please let me know. Because I am building this thing right now, like, real time. So basically what I'm building is what you're going to be seeing and experiencing in the realm when you join it. So whoever wants to join, please leave your Minecraft Java name, not Pocket Edition. I mean, I do play Pocket Edition as well as anyone who wants to play with me, but, um, this is for Java only. Anyone who wants to play Java, please leave their name in the description below for, for Minecraft and that I can invite them. Alright. <clears throat> All right, let's see. So we're going to need to have to build the farm. So let's say that we'll make the farm uh, over here. And look at this. What the heck? Look at this! Hey, creeper, what's going on, man? You camping out in the air pocket? <laughs> this is too funny, guys. So apparently somebody had placed a door down here in the middle of the ocean and a creeper spawned. Should I make him drown? Okay, so I'm gonna do this for everyone who's played Minecraft and who has been killed or had their buildings destroyed by creepers. This is avenging those people who have been hurt by creepers. See you, bud. He just floats to the surface. Well, I guess that wasn't a vengeance after all. I basically just released the creeper into the, the surface. Baby drowned. Got a baby drowned. <gasps> hey, cutie. Dude, you sound terrible. Have you been smoking? Ew. <laughs> as, uh, as long as I get the farm done in this video, I'll be very satisfied, because then you guys know that uh, I made a really, really good progress. Because the farm is like one of the biggest things that we have to build under here. Under the sea, as you guys know. Okay, so for the farm, we're going to make it 12 blocks long and uh, across. guys hearing that? 
that was a lot of deep noises. Very cool. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oof. Apparently I went a little too far too far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. better. Over one break, over one break, and over one break. So it's three blocks over, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, freaking kelp. Stop! He's getting in the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Cool. Oh, hello. Where'd you come from? go well that's that's a uh, pretty good size for a farm I have to say and like we did the last time it's going to be double layered which is extremely important in what uh, some dirt blocks here I'm eagerly awaiting the whale sound. Hopefully I can catch it on Minecraft so that everyone can hear it. And then I will link it in the description below with the timestamp of when it happens.
here. Well, there you have it, guys. I built two domes in the span of however long this video was, so that's pretty good. Especially the farm, which takes a lot, as you can see. Especially a double-layered farm, for that matter. Two layers of crops. So we have a mid-segment dome here, which is like a, a cross-section so that I can go to the farm that way, and then there'll be another, uh, another dome going off. But yeah. So please, this is my first ever Let's Play tutorial of uh, Minecraft Underwater Research Building. Like, well, uh, underwater base building, I should say. But this is basically a tutorial of how to build your own underwater base. Either in your own survival realm or other Minecraft realm. Whatever you want. This is basically the generic and quite effectively beautiful way of building an underwater, you know, base. Which, when you see it lit up at night, after 30 seconds when my night vision wears off, you'll see how beautiful this thing looks. But yeah, this is pretty much how it looks like from above water. Uh, it's very, very, uh, especially with all the, the, uh, the kelp. But here we have the, um, we have our method of getting in, so it's basically just drop, and then we have like a water ladder that shoots you up. So you just basically fall. But look at this. This is at night without night vision. Look how nice that looks. Oh, you can't see it like that, but just from out of the water, that looks really nice. But yeah, this is gonna. This is episode one. I'm gonna be uploading other videos of the other episodes of building more and more domes. So please, if you like this, do hit the like button. Or if you want to join this realm, please leave your Minecraft Java name in the description in the comment section below. And I will invite you to the realm, and then you can um, <clears throat> you can hop on either if I'm not online or if uh, if I do get online. Uh, we'll be online tomorrow after work, which is around like 6 p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I hope to get more people to join this realm because this is a. Can you like shut up, Mr. Zombie? Thank you. This is a beautiful realm. And I think this is going to be really nice to expand it in the ocean. Because just imagine how all this dark space here filled with all these glowing domes under the ocean. It'd be so gorgeous. So yes. Thank you so much for watching and I uh, hope to see you in the realm.